passive income. We all want it, but is it achievable? And what does it take to make it truly passive? Let's talk about it. Hi there, my name is Anna and I'm a content strategist and blogging coach, helping online business owners increase their income and traffic. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned a great strategy for making passive income with Amazon KDP, and that is to publish low content books. And I stand by that idea. Today, we're diving deeper into one specific category of the Amazon KDP books that you can publish to earn passive income, and that is activity books. But let's circle back. First of all, what is Amazon KDP? For those of you who do not know, KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, and it's an Amazon-owned platform that allows you to self-publish books and low-content books, such as planner, notebooks, journals, drawing books, coloring books, and so on. You create the books, you give them the printable manuscript, and every time you make a sale, they ship it out to the customers. Here's where it gets interesting for us. There's no upfront costs, there's worldwide distribution, and you earn royalties on sales. So if you're looking for a method that actually has the potential to turn into passive income, this is it. Now you might be wondering why activity books? Well, that is because there is a growing demand for physical activity books that people can use to take their eyes off the screen or to use when they don't have a Wi-Fi connection. User generated content books have always been popular. Think of notebooks, journals, planners. People just like to have a physical copy in their hands. That is why they're incredibly lucrative. Not to mention that people love receiving these unique and personalized gifts and people love giving them. And Amazon is a perfect marketplace that people go to buy last minute gift ideas or educational content for their kids. And the best part is that you don't need to be a published author, have an entire publishing team behind you, have loads of experience creating those. You can just jump in. The beauty of user generated books is that anyone can do it. Activity books can be anything from word search books, crossword puzzle and other word games, number games such as the popular Sudoku game, drawing books, coloring books, mixed activity books that combine a bunch of these together, connected dots games, and other activity books for various age groups and various seasons. Now let's talk numbers. How much can you earn by publishing low content books? I've seen the publishers of such books earn anything from a couple hundred dollars extra every single month to a couple of thousands of dollars every single month. Your earnings will obviously depend on your niche, the topic of your book, how will you market it, your pricing, your reviews, and so on. But the potential, it's enormous. And because I don't want to throw around these promises, let me show you some proof. Right now, I'm using BookBolt's cloud feature, and I'm looking into the best sellers on Amazon and I'm looking specifically for activity books. You can look at the top 100 to the top 500 books that are selling right now, and you can do so for notebooks, planners, activity books, and so on. There's a wide range of categories that you can choose to narrow it down if you're doing specific research. But I just wanna see what sells, and more specifically, how many copies sell each month. So I'm jumping in into the Book Bold Cloud feature, and I'm just gonna take you guys with me. Right now, you'll see that this Easter bird search for kids is absolutely dominating. They're selling 800 units per month at $4.99 a piece. That is nearly $4,000 in gross earnings. Amazon will take their 30% cut and they'll also charge you manufacturing fees for each copy, but you still get left with 70% royalty minus your manufacturing costs. And this is a brand new book with only eight reviews. And you can see that it was independently published. That means that somebody who's following this exact strategy created the book and published it themselves and within two months, they were making nearly $4,000 in sales. There's also this Easter coloring book for toddlers that's selling around 730 units per month at $7.99. That is $5,800 in sales each month. Or you can see this mixed activity book that was only published again earlier in February this year and selling 570 units per month. Now, these books are obviously popular because they're very seasonal and they're very relevant right now, but that is not always the case for low content books. You can write low content books and you can create them to be evergreen. And you'll see here, we have an example of that that is still selling this activity book for adults that are bored. And it was published in 2018, but it's still making 500 plus sales each month. If that's not passive income, I don't know what is. Now that you've seen the real results that you can get from creating and publishing these, let me take you behind the scenes and show you how you can create those two so you can start making profit with Amazon KDP. Step number one is to research and brainstorm activity book ideas. You can sign up for a free three-day trial with BookBolt via my link below, and you can take full advantage of their cloud tool, which allows you to spy on your competitors and spy on what's already selling. They will condense all the information that you need to know in one place, such as the cover, title, existing reviews, whether or not it was independently published, and when, 
the price, and most importantly, their monthly sales. You'll be able to see everything at a glance to make an educated decision. Now, outside of using a research tool like BookBold, Amazon also publishes their best seller list in pretty much every category out there, right? They have a ranking for every category and subcategory. If you go to an Amazon book, scroll to their product details, you'll see that if they have a ranking like number one or number 200 in top all books or all children books, it'll take you to the actual best seller list. The problem with that is that if something is super niche and it has a very small category, it can be the best selling book in that category, but maybe that category only sells 10 books a month. So really there is no way to estimate the profit and estimate the monthly sales. With BookBolt, you can do that and you can use it to be super targeted. If you already know the kind of activity book or the niche that you're trying to create a low content book for, go on BookBolt, search for your search term and see what's selling. Again, you can narrow it down by notebook, activity books, planners, and so on. But it's super important to be specific about who your activity book is for, as levels of difficulty can vary a lot for activity books. They can be for children, as well as for adults, for different age groups. And if you pick a book that is too broad and not targeted enough, there will be steep competition. And it's one of those, if you try to please everyone, you'll please no one. Instead, you'll see that in a lot of the cases, the books that are selling the most are the ones that are the most targeted by either demographic, season, or even both. This includes everything from this activity book for retired men to this fun kindergarten activity book for four to six year olds. And of course, we saw a lot of examples of this earlier when we had books that were specific both by the season, so Easter books, and then by age group or level of difficulty. If you're not sure that your idea is specific enough or good enough, go to Amazon and look it up. You'll see something like Activity Book for Men has 60,000 results. These are books that are already on Amazon that you'll be competing with if you try to create one of these books. But if you look at Retirement Activity Book for Men, that only comes with 3,000 results. So obviously the competition is way less steep. Ideally, you'll want to pick topics that don't have more than one to 2,000 results already on Amazon. You'll see, for example, that Pizza Cooking Activity Book for Kids only has 600 results, while a Dog Sudoku Lover book only has 600 results. There's also this underrated cut and glue activity and coloring books that seem to be overall such an untapped market. They only have 3,000 results overall, but if you niche them down like cutting glue outfit ideas or cutting glue recipe books, you'll see that it narrows down even further. And these are such fun books that you can easily create. Now, besides looking on Amazon to see how many results there already are for a book idea you have in mind, I would also encourage you to go to BookBold, search for the same idea, and make sure that your idea sells beyond the first three ranking books. Sometimes there's one or two books that do really well and sell, and every book that comes third, fourth, fifth on that line gets no sales. The sweet spot is where the demand rolls over even to the books that are not the best sellers for that search term. So the fourth, the sixth book, you want to make sure that they still get around 50 sales a month or so. If you find a product like that, you will hit the jackpot for both the demand and the low competition. And you are so likely to have a winner on your hands. Follow this brainstorming exercise and come up with five to 10 activity book ideas or low content ideas in general that you can create. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Next up, like I said, you wanna start creating these activity books. Take it one at a time until you learn the process. And after that, it will be so much easier to create more and more books. The thing is, in order to sell these on Amazon, you have to upload a very specifically formatted manuscript. Amazon requires you to do so, and then BookBolt helps you make sure that you comply with it. So the first thing you want to do is look up a couple of books that are selling quite well, that are similar to the one that you picked to create first, and look at the product dimensions to get a trim size. This is the actual size of the book and you have a couple of options to choose from, you want to choose something that sells well, but that also makes sense for your book. You don't have to necessarily pick the book idea that sells the most if the second best selling book has a different trim size that fits better for your book. So just keep that in mind. Then go back into BookBold with the link below. Again, you can register for a three day trial and start creating and whipping out a book for free and go into the create function. From there, you'll want to find the creator studio, go to project, new project, and choose a paperback cover and interior. Name your project something that you will remember and pick the trim size from the dropdown from the one that you picked earlier. The options available here are all Amazon approved sizes and BookBolt will make sure that your files match Amazon's requirements. Then choose the page colors. I usually go for a black and white interior, 
with white or cream paper as color pages will cost you more to manufacture. So this will dig into your profits. For activity books, I really think you can get away with just choosing black and white pages as this leaves room for the actual book buyers to interact with it and make the books their own. When it comes to numbers and word games, these can easily be black and white. I cannot think of a Sudoku book or a crossword puzzle that I bought that wasn't black and white on the interior, so it won't really impact the users. Then stick with the bleed, which is a spacing on the side that allows Amazon to print out your book without cutting into any of your designs, and pick your page number that you want to start with. You can easily add or subtract pages down the line before you publish your ebook, so don't overthink it. Then click Create. Book Vault will then create a blank project for you that includes the cover and all the dimensions that you need to be aware of for to create the cover in the first place and the actual manuscript. Now let me take you behind the scenes again and show you the exact step-by-step -step process that I go through to create an activity book or a low content book using Book Vault. And yes, it's going to help you actually put together the activity books. You don't have to be a Sudoku master to start selling Sudoku books and you don't have to make up your own crosswords to do that. Let's hop right in the tutorial. First things first, you need to create the cover. You can create the cover here and upload it onto Amazon or Amazon also has a cover creator on their KDP platform. But for this, you can create a super, super simple cover within Book Bolt. Simply go to shapes, pick out a shape, select a color, drag it over. Then we're going to go over to images and you'll see a couple of the other covers that I have created before for Amazon. But for this, I'm just going to go over to Pixabay, look up transparent and look up something like dog breeds. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one, drag it over somewhere there. And then add a title to the book on the front cover as well. You can use something like a circular text, that'd be quite well. Put that there. To edit the text, just go edit text and pick out your actual text. And then you can modify pretty much everything you need about the title, including the angle, everything like that. Now that's done, you can also create the back cover. Once again, go to my uploads. You can add a little author photo in the back. Write a little blurb. There you go. And then make sure to stay within these lines. Remember, that's where the spine of the book will be as long as where Amazon will actually cut that off. So just give it a little extra space. Add a little regular text in there. And then keep in mind that Amazon has a barcode that they need to print out there. So I usually don't add anything in that bottom bit, but you can add some book reviews or some more blurbs about the book here. And there you go. This is the cover done. We can now go ahead and move to the actual book. Here's where Book Bolt makes creating activity books super, super easy. If you go to a page, you go and you'll see they have a little puzzle element and you will see that they have a bunch of free and paid versions. They have a mind finder, a world scrabble, they have a missing vowel, they have all these pictogram hangman, crosswords, sudoku, word search, mazes. All of these you can basically create and steal from them. You don't have to know how to do these games yourself, right? So if this is a mixed activity book, you can combine a couple of these. If it's just a Sudoku only book, you can absolutely do that. I'm going to go over to Sudoku and then it's basically asking you on which pages should it do that. I'm going to go and select like the first half and you'll see it's, it will select the first half of the pages next. So I'm going to go with nine by nine, medium level of difficulty and one puzzle per page. I'm going to leave that to be the line color, but just make it slightly bit darker. Happy overall with the font size and then make sure to select the solution placement. So they will automatically add the solutions at the end. You can have it um, as no solution. 
You can manually select solution pages after the fact, next page after each puzzle page, or after all puzzle pages. So at the very end of the book, you can have that. And I'm going to put six solutions per page rather than one per page, just to save some space. I'm going to go and go next. Then you'll see that if these are kind of the puzzle pages, these are the pages used for the solutions if they're spread out. So we'll kind of give you a preview of what that is and go click submit. And there you have it. In literally seconds, BookBold just created Sudoku pages for me. And then at the end of that, if you go over the half of the book, you can set up a page that says, you know, solutions. And you can do similar things if you have various levels of difficulty or various chapters or various activity or various puzzles in one book. Just introduce them with a cover page like this one. Now you can absolutely make that prettier. Look up to see if they have anything in the shapes that you can add to it. For example, you can underline it just like that. That looks kind of pretty. And again, you can go to images and find images. Keep in mind that there'll be black and white interiors. I usually go for black and white and these will be perfect for printed out. That, for example, is so cute. And then you'll see I have the solutions page that I created. And after that, the breakdown of each of the Sudoku solutions. And they actually have the number in there. Play around with that. If you think six is too much to have per page, you can also play around with that. You can make it smaller. You can add more or less. Take this page. I'm going to clone it. And you'll see it lets me add where I want it. For example, I want it added here. Clone. So I can add something like more games in here and keep that as kind of a cute title page. Go back to their puzzle. And you'll see that they have this other word game in there. You can go ahead and like manually select the pages that you want it on. You'll see these will be the puzzle pages and these will be the solution pages. So you see it all laid out really beautifully and you understand kind of the concept of it. Then click submit. And then you'll see that it added even more really fun games. After that, it also added the solution pages. And there you have it. You can do a bunch of that, combine multiple activity games into one book or do one for each. And obviously, if you want to personalize it further, you absolutely can. So let's say this was, like I said, a numbers game book aimed at dog lovers. Something super cute you could do is go and add a specific dog breed in the corner of each page. Like I said, super easy. Go to your photos, find a cute little photo or find some little prints, add them in there. You can also go and just make them super transparent. If you're going to do anything design wise, I usually would do it at the beginning because you can then basically clone that page. So let me show you what I mean. If you go to the end of a page, you add the same image again. And then when you go to clone this page, you can basically select all the pages and make sure that that is a default. Obviously, this is like the covers and the other ones that are not relevant to it and then clone it. But obviously do that at the very beginning of the book so it doesn't override all the actual puzzle books that you are doing right now and that you have embedded already. You can also manually go in, add a little cute title to each of these ones, move the actual Sudoku box, and also number the actual boxes so it's easier for people to find the solutions at the back. Super, super easy, right? You might be wondering what happens for the actual activity books that are a bit more complex or if you're trying to create something specific or coloring books that are not in here. Well, in that case, I really recommend going to over to Design Bundles. They basically sell entire templates of things and I have bought templates from them before that I easily added into BookBolt, including coloring books, all of these books that you basically want to maybe create right let's say you want to do a circus fun kind of coloring book you'll see a little example of the coloring pages that they have in there 
it has 16 coloring pages if you go to templates that's probably where you'll find the most of them and you'll find a bunch of educational coloring pages educational content customizable templates all of that there are a bunch of them that you can kind of take there's a really cute easter egg coloring book that would do so well knowing everything that we know about how good easter books or seasonal content is doing little bees ones more coloring books activity books all of these you can basically find templates for almost anything and then once you have them you basically go and you import them in here all you have to do is go to photos upload pdf and anything that you save as a pdf or even as an image you can then basically paste it in here you can literally create activity books for absolutely everything in here and then once you've created it you can duplicate it create future ones as well want more ideas of what's possible using book bold and more tips on choosing profitable book ideas and then marketing them make sure to tune in for the live webinars that happen every thursday on the book bold platform all book bold users are invited to join and you can even watch tons of pre-recorded sessions that already happened to get the same and valuable information if you're a book bold user now when your design is ready you want to download it and import it into the amazon library i'll also walk you through that the first thing to remember is to hop back into your book bold project and go to download and export your file you want to download it as a cymk version this is the correct version that you'll need for amazon kdp and it will save it in two files one for the cover and one for the book contents. These need to be uploaded onto Amazon separately, so that is why they deliver it like that. Again, Book Bolt makes this so much easier. At first, when I was publishing books, I had no idea. I had my cover included with my manuscript and just created a second page with the cover. It was all a mess. Speaking of Amazon, the next step is to create your publisher account. Simply go to kdp.amazon.com and sign up and register for an account. If you already have an account, sign in, click on the Create button, pick paperback and click on create paperback. This is where you will build up your book listings and upload your manuscript. I'll walk you through that just now, but keep in mind that if you prefer to be anonymous and publish under a pen name, you can absolutely do that. Just use your real name and tax information on your account. And when it goes to publishing your book, in the author box, you can choose a pen name. You can actually use multiple author names under the same KDP account. This will also help you separate and bundle together books from different niches. So if you publish both activity books for children and then KDP notebooks for adults, you can absolutely do that. Just use the correct author name that you've created for yourself for one and then the other. You'll see, for example, this author has a lot of activity books for adults and they all can be found on his author page. And then Kitty Art Press made an entire book series for their Easter activity books that you can see here. And they bundled it all together under one account, which makes a lot of sense. Now, a quick note on that. You'll see that a lot of these authors that have kind of bestsellers and are selling a couple of hundreds of copies for every single book usually have more than one book. Don't just post one activity book or one low content book and expect to be an Amazon millionaire. It doesn't work like that. And if you're an established author and publisher, and if you sell more copies and you have more books available for purchase, Amazon will push out your books even more. Plus, you never know which of these topics and which of these books work better. Sometimes it's only the cover that makes a difference. So you can publish the same kind of book in different niches with different covers or different titles. There's really no limitations on it. But my encouragement is to go through your brainstorm list and try to publish five to 10 books in the next couple of months. I promise BookBolt will make it so easy and you can actually duplicate books that you've already created so you don't have to start from scratch every single time. But back to getting your first book published. Here's what you need to do to make it happen. The first thing that you'll need to fill out are the paperback details. In this, choose your primary language, so the language that the book is written in, and then add your book title and subtitle. Very, very important. You cannot change these down the line, and they need to be the actual book title words that you use on your book cover. So make sure that the book title and the book cover have the exact same thing added in there. There are more book title guidelines that Amazon provides there if you need more inspiration. If your book is part of the series, you can add it to a series. This is not the case. We're just launching it as it is. You can skip over the edition number, especially if this is the first book that you're publishing. And then we move on to the author. So you can go with something like Pet Press Publications or a pen name for the author that can be, you know, a human name 
name or you can have your actual name and you can have multiple author names under one account like I mentioned before. Contributors are only here if you have co-written something with somebody else. In this case if you've done it all yourself you can absolutely skip that step. Then moving on to the description add a quick description a couple of bullet points about what makes your book stand out from others. You can go back and edit this down the line and you can even kind of bold a couple of these and add a couple of elements to your description to make it stand out. Work on this. Try to have at least 500 characters in the description. Once again, optimizing for keywords and write a good book description. And then make sure that you choose that you own the copyright and the publishing rights for this and that this is not a public domain work. In other words, you have created this content and you are allowed to publish it. If you have bought a couple of the templates that you use in the book of design bundles, you can still own the copyright to it. Just make sure that you're purchasing the commercial license for those templates. So in other words, you're allowed to use them and then sell them on if that makes sense. And then add no for this step and then and if you have a specific activity book, this is even more important. Make sure that you're selecting the ages in between because this is meant to be an advanced Sudoku book. I put the minimum age is 10. But if you have an activity book for young children, let's say four to six year olds, you can add the four to six in there and that will really help Amazon deliver your book to those kind of target audiences or to people buying for those kids in that age range. Leave the primary marketplace as Amazon.com really doesn't matter and in the categories I selected books children's books and activity books for this one and then general you can play around with it and within book bolt if you go to kdp categories and add a specific book they will help you kind of figure out a couple of the potential categories that will make sense for that and then you can also go to books that are selling well find them on amazon go find the asin code that they have it's right here in the product details Go back to Book Bolt and the Book Scout, put it in here and it will basically create a lookup of other keywords that they've used for their book. So they have like puzzles, puzzles for kids, three levels, 50 easy Sudoku puzzles, Sudoku book, Sudoku book for adults, Sudoku medium difficulty, and so on. So a bunch of different keywords that you can see for your keywords or even your book title if you need more inspiration. Make sure to also add a couple of these keywords in here and ideally have a keyword for every single box. Then you can leave as publication and release date are the same and then you can release the book for sale now once you've submitted everything or schedule the book release for later on. Then click save and continue. Next up Amazon will create a standard book number identifying number for you so just click assign me a free KDP ISBN and then assign. Every single book out there needs to have one of these and Amazon creates one for you for free right here. And then for the print options, make sure that they fit the print options that you chose in Book Bolt. So once again, these are the options. You have cream paper, you have white paper, and then you have colored paper or premium colored paper. But once again, keep in mind that these two are quite quite expensive when it comes to that. So I'm going to go with what we initially chose, which is black and white interior with white paper. For the trim size, also make sure that it fits whatever you chose initially in Book Bolt. So we're going to go back to that and we're going to find the one we chose, which is 8.5 or 11 inches and then bleed PDF only. And we're going to go with a matte finish. Now here's where you upload the two files that BookBolt has already generated for you. So, so simple. I'm going to go ahead and upload the manuscript first. And then you can, like I mentioned, either create a cover within Amazon or just upload the cover you already have, which is the easier option here since we've already created it. Go find it, upload it, select, and you'll see they uploaded the cover. Moving on, did you use AI tools to create this book? No. And then very, very important before you can even think about publishing, Amazon requires you to launch their previewer and make sure everything looks right. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And then there you have it. You will see that with a book bold template, I was sure not to include anything in the spine of the book or have enough space in the edges so that it doesn't crop it. If that does crop into it, Amazon will alert you in the quality check in the sidebar if you have anything that's out of place or that it's in that kind of bleed section. But as you can see, no issues selected. That is why I love Book Bold because it saves so much time and hassle. And then you'll see as we go through the books, everything kind of fits in. Obviously, you can make the Sudoku a little small. Then even the results pages look alright. 
You can see how cute this is. It's basically cutting it off right there, which is going to make it look like it's just peeking out. Adorable. And then when you're ready, just click approve. So we have the manuscript, we have the cover, we have previewed everything, and this is where we're going to get a summary of the costs. And then obviously this will be depending on the book. So the less pages you have, the less the printing cost is going to be, and then your trim size and other settings will have an impact on that. If you're happy with that, just save and continue. Choose all territories for worldwide distribution. And then this is where you set your pricing and royalty. So once again, you'll be able to see a preview of everything that kind of goes on. So for example, if we're selling it for $8.99, you'll see that how much you make in royalties and you'll see the royalties rate. I think this used to be 70%, it's 60% now. So Amazon kind of keeps a cut. And then you can also choose for expanded distribution. So they will sell it to online retailers, libraries, universities, so on. So Amazon will kind of provide them the stock for it. And you can play around and you'll see they have different prices for different marketplaces. And then you can also request a book proof. So this is a copy of the book that will come to your house and you only have to pay for the printing costs and the shipping costs. And to see the book in real life in your hands before you set it off to Amazon, which I recommend doing. Until that is set up, I usually save it as a draft and return to publish it later. But if you're happy with it, you can publish your paperback book immediately. And there you have it. This is my process for creating activity books to sell on Amazon KDP for profit. And it's all made so much easier with Bookbolt. If you're ready to give them a try and jump in, use the link below and also use the code ANNA20 to get 20% off in perpetuity. This applies to future months and even annual plans. If you sign up for the annual plan, you'll save 20% on all the years to come as long as you're a user and same for the monthly plan. Now I want to hear from you. Are you ready to start your Amazon KDP journey? And if you're already a published author, let us know your best tip below in the comments. As always, if you found this video helpful and you want to support my channel, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content just like this and hit that alarm bell to be notified when more videos on how to boost your online income or blog traffic go up. I'll see you in the next video.